Okay, we are live on Facebook. Awesome. I'm trying to get in there for a second. I could not hear you, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. We are requesting to join in Instagram land. Mm hmm Okay. Uh Yes, yes, in just a second. <laughs> we'll all be together between Kim and me and the and the presentation that needs to be adjusted slightly. There we go. And the volume. Mm -hmm. You guys have no idea what goes into this. This is this is how it is. <laughs> <laughs> and we're together. It's Kim and moi and the presentation live on Instagram and Facebook. Aren't we awesome? <laughs> <laughs> I like your little happy dance. <laughs> you got to do it. Welcome, everybody, to our episode number 58 of Window yes. Treatment Friday Live. We're excited to have you guys here. We're excited to be with you. And today's topic is outdoor spaces. Yes, super appropriate since now we are officially officially in summer mode right now so we thought we would share some pretty unique things that while well, you can actually do and bring the indoors out so kim before we get going mm -hmm. what camp are you in after fourth of july is the summer almost over or do we still have a lot to go well, I mean, I think we still have a lot to go. Me I'm, too. I'm, I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to soak it up as much as possible. I'm hoping, knock on wood, this year I can get to the beach at some point. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, but no, I'm totally, in my mind, we still have eight weekends left. So Yay. Yay to that. <laughs> so without further ado, here we go. Here's a pretty place to spend a weekend at. Yes. So this is a recent project that we just did for a client of ours. And um, for a lot of the photos that from our end, I'm showing it from afar and then kind of a little, little bit of a zoomed in version of it. So you can kind of really enjoy and really grasp um, what's going on here. So this is a uh, semi-cassette uh, Bella awning the Duracell awning that we installed and we put it if you can see um in between the two bump outs of the home to really shade this client's uh patio and their deck area there yeah so you just tell so, me when you want me to go yep, close perfect, up perfect. When you want so this is perfect out. now because now we can chat about it now as you can see here um you know the average person's probably looking at this and going i really want shade an umbrella isn't going to cut it and with the awning, you can really see that they're connecting the two ends of the homes that are the, the two bump outs of the homes and really giving a lot of coverage to this patio. Now, what's cool about this is that we installed this awning on a roof. So it's called a roof mount awning. Because if you were to look where the sliding glass doors proportion to all the trim molding and the sconces and whatnot, if you're looking at that, you're thinking, oh, I really can't get an awning in there because where are they going to mount it to? So we have right. the flexibility and the ability to mount it to the roof. And with just a click of a button, you can get shade over that lovely patio. You can see that they have a TV there on the uh, right-hand side, an outdoor television. So really giving you shade if you want to, you know, I know with the Olympics coming up, the, the Euro Cup is and coming wait. The Euro Cup is coming to an end this weekend. No. I know that I watched um, some of the, the games outside on an outdoor TV at my friend's house and, yeah. um, you know, having the shade there to really be able to really in, enjoy your outdoor spaces. And that's really what an awning um, really, you know, adds yeah. the value to your patio. So you're able to shade yourself from the sun, get sun protection. It also helps keep it cool when you're underneath there. And it just really gives an extension to your home. And for me, the big takeaway here, Kim, is if you think that your rooftop is too low or you have other accessories yeah. like those sconces that are not giving you enough mounting surface, there are ways around it. Yes. And yes. The, like we, Kim and I always say, you don't need to know all the ways. All you need to yes. know is that it's possible. And then you call the window works and they tell you how to do it. Yes. But if, you, if your mounting space is minimal, then don't just discount the project and say, oh, no, it's not possible. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to suffer under umbrellas or, you know, in a window treatment world, suffer with some other solution. There, there probably is a solution. 
Mm -hmm. If there is one, then we will tell you. We will definitely let you know that one exists. <laughs> and I know here our awning team is very, very, very creative. So if there's a will, there's a way, and they will figure it out for you. Perfect. Nicely done. Yeah. So my little project here is from a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, and every single time I look at it, it just makes me happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was an oversized lounge chase type of uh, sitting arrangement mm -hmm. and the cushion was about I don't know five six inches in depth so it, oh, was, I mean, it was it's like a mattress it was a yeah. hunk, hunk of a thing <laughs> and of course we used this umbrella fabric here and maybe what's a little bit difficult to see is on the blue and white fabric there are small little dots of yellow which is where mm -hmm. the yellow bolster came in and actually mm -hmm. anybody who's looked through a lot of umbrella fabrics and the fabric 10 books mm -hmm. yes that, that's you know we all kind of familiar with that fabric it's pretty yeah. popular out there so so that's why we brought out this beautiful sunny yellow color coordinated with our main fabric and of course we piped it out in the main fabric but you know every time I look at it and every time my customer looks at it she texts me every so often usually in the summer when she tells me that they've pulled this mattress cushion out of their shed and they put the beautiful uh, bright, sunny, happy bolster out. And it just, just makes everybody happy, which is ultimately, I think, what outdoor uh, furniture, accessories, and everything we, we would do mm -hmm. outdoor, that's what it should make you feel like, especially in the summer. Well, and to the whole point of like the outdoor spaces and bringing the, the indoors out, this also like your detail of all the trim and all the piping, right? Taking the main fabric and piping it on the bolster. Now, for me, this is what it looks like from here, and correct me if I'm wrong, but did we um, do a, a yellow well around the cushion? We did. And so, how yeah. can I forget? Yes, thank you so much. You know, so, <laughs> we are that good. I yeah. forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> if I may say so myself, you know, if you don't compliment yourself, who will? Yeah. But yes, that's exactly what we did. Thank you so much, Kim. So, yeah, so it's all these kind of little <laughs> details that you can really bring that design element up to your outdoors. So, we always think about when we're designing fabulous spaces, we um, think about the inside, but we really, I mean, now that we're able to gather and whatnot. I know I had my first big barbecue in over a year this weekend and all those little details like the pillows and, and you know, which pillows had fringe and I drive every, I drive myself nuts with that because you want it to look great and you want it to kind of be an extension of your in, you know, the inside uh, onto your deck. So yeah. those are the kinds of things that, you know, your designers or Vita and myself will help the designers and, and clients come up with these little <laughs> details that you don't necessarily think of. That's what we're here for. <laughs> okay, now from afar, this picture just looks like a you know Victorian style home with a gorgeous wraparound porch. Know, it's beautiful. Do you I, know that's my dream? A wraparound porch. That's what I've always wanted. I will. I mean, totally. We're gonna go sidebar here, but um, <laughs> if we remember the last time we were all together at High Point, that lovely oh house gosh, that we yes. rented with that wraparound yes. porch. When we first got there, when Luann and I first got there, um, I had work to do, haha. Uh -huh. So uh, we had some time before our evening event and I just made myself a cup of coffee and just sat on that outdoor oh, floor that's just and heaven. worked and it was divine. Divine, I agree. I, I love this whole look. It reminds me yes. of Cape May, which is a uh, South Jersey town. And I mean, a lot of other towns yes. too. I'm sure it's up there where you guys are. But that to me with those beautiful flowers, that's like the epitome of um, heaven. <laughs> so what we did here, and if you want to go to the next slide, Vita. I sure can. Um, is we gave this porch a little bit of life by adding awning valances between all the columns. So are these just valances? There are no mm -hmm. awnings? Nope. Oh, it how cute. Just a little valance. So it's Heaven just, like, just got a little bit better. Yep. So it <laughs> just gives you a little detail. So the way you would put like a nice little valance over your window, don't forget about your porch. We do this all the time down in a lot of our... Um, beach uh, installations mm -hmm. and whatnot. Vinny and Luann used to have valances at their shore house, um, nice. their other shore house, yeah. So it's just a nice way to really coordinate, and it's hard to tell from the picture, but the uh, cushions on the outdoor furniture had a very similar color tone and color palette. So it's a nice way to kind, of, yeah, to kind of coordinate it all together, but it's another way to just add that little 
cute element of design to your porch. And you don't necessarily have to have a beach house to do this. We've done this in homes and older homes here in Montclair and whatnot, just to kind of finish it off. And what's cool about the bottom, uh, like a retractable awning, you have your choice of how you want to finish the bottom. This particular client um, opted for the classic wave, but you mm -hmm. can do the straight, you can do the Greek key. So there's mm -hmm. a bunch of different ways. And then it does come with a, um, a matching braid along the bottom. Yep. Very nice. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. It just underscores how cute and quaint and adorable Vic this Victorian home is. Yeah. Very nice. You know what? Before I just thought of something, um, I'll, I'll click over to the next mm -hmm. slide. But before I tell you about it, I just wanted to kind of reintroduce um, ourselves, just maybe mm -hmm. some people who've joined us not from the very beginning, but kind of yes. midway. And in case you guys are not familiar with what Kim and I are doing here, mm -hmm. uh, we are here on Instagram and Facebook simultaneously every Friday at noon and we geek out on all <laughs> things window treatments and we call these episodes window treatment friday live or wtf live <laughs> and wtf comes from a series that luann and i did on her podcast and it stands for window treatment friday and it also stands for the wtf episodes <laughs> like a wtf moment i should say because if you guys know anything about window treatments then you know you at least have had one if not <laughs> million like kim and i have had over our careers one so, a week <laughs> or a day exactly yeah. so just a little reintroduction thank you everyone for joining us uh, whether you're joining us live you're more than welcome to ask us questions live mm -hmm. or for clarifications and if you watch this in recording we hope that you get inspired and educated which is what ultimately our purpose is here yes all right, so this next project is something that Vitalia Inc., my company, um, have done a couple of years ago. This was done in Doylestown, which is just about nor um, an hour north of Philadelphia in Bucks County. And this was done in association with a wonderful designer out of Doylestown. Her name is Lynn Hofer, Lynn Hofer Interior Design. This was a penthouse um, mm -hmm. uh, apartment where, oh. yeah, it was really cool. It was one of those where the elevator opens up right into your apartment and the building actually the way it was architected had two apartments but this particular client bought out both of them and they connected oh. them into one big apartment yes it was very fancy mm -hmm. and they also mm -hmm. had this beautiful rooftop deck and of course when you have a beautiful rooftop deck like that you need to have cushions and you need to have pillows and you need to have window treatments and you need to have shading mechanisms as mm -hmm. well so this is a photograph from one side of the rooftop deck and here is nice. a photograph from the inside so let me just go back for a second you see the back of that swing and here i'm going to go to the next slide and here you see the front of that swing on the left you see all of the roller shades that that have come down and it, essentially they've enclosed it into like a oh. closed up porch and on the right i'm gonna get super fancy here kim if okay, i can let's see let's, let's see. see if i can do this oh. it's a video <laughs> oh, yay that's pretty cool okay i dig yep. it i love it Thank you, thank you. I did not do it. It was all Stephanie, my our, my marketing coordinator. The <laughs> full credit goes to her for figuring out how to do this. So, but essentially, what this video shows you is how a, an open rooftop deck can be closed up by mm -hmm. roller shades. So there it is, and I think hopefully we will pan back. There and you go. There it is. This this video essentially is the copy of a still picture that you see on the left. Oh, cool. How the, fancy is that? Thank you, Stephanie. Yes, thank you, Stephanie. Because in the picture, it's kind of hard to tell that there are uh, roller shades. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of looks like, all right, that's the outside or it's the walls, you know, Exactly. Behind. You think it's the wall or yeah. something. Whereas essentially, those are roller shades that have come right. down. And when they're up, like right now, they're lifting up. And even in the previous picture, um, they just roll up into their cassette and mm -hmm. they're very innocuous. You really can't really see them. They no. become part of the architecture. And uh, speaking of part of the architecture, we had them custom powder, the, the fascias, we had a custom powder coated mm -hmm. to match the color that Lynn picked for the outside structure. Cool. So it like, like we Fancy were saying fancy. before, there's, if there's a will, there's a way and there's ways to custom color things and, you know, really enclose um, rooftop patios and things like that. So 
Yeah, yeah, it's it's all possible for you guys. That's what Kim and I are here for. Our mission is to educate you and also show you what's possible. So you don't have to remember every single specific. No. And if you walk away with nothing else from each one episode that that we do, it is that things are possible, and we're just giving you a glimpse into the possibility. And this is the same porch, just from a slightly different angle, just showing you um, what we've done here. Mm -hmm. And actually, this was a second iteration of it. Believe it or not, two or three years down the, the line, the, the road, the customer wanted to have new casings on all the cushions and pillows just to kind of switch it up and have a new That's look. Right. So we were happy to oblige. There you go. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a close-up project of um, outdoor draperies that we did for a client. They have a like a two-story deck situation. So uh, above is their um, patio that you can come out from their kitchen where you have an awning up there and whatnot. And then this is from right off of their finished basement, their walkout basement, where they have a um, another seating arrangement there, another lounge area there. And we opted, these are actually operable grommet panels, outdoor panels okay. that we made from Sunbrella fabric. And there, you can't see it now because their uh, outdoor furniture is covered. Um, but There's another picture, have, like, would it be uncovered? covered No, it's still covered. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, they're, 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 they're all covered, yeah. Um, so this is, so you can really see it here. So when they wanna have their privacy and really enclose this patio area, we have, they have the possibility to open and close these panels. Um, we opted for outdoor hardware that we ceiling mounted into their overhang. And so when they are closed, they really do have their privacy. And then they could bring, again, um, they entertain a lot, this particular client. And they have all their, their French doors open from their uh, finished basement and, client, you know, uh, they can go in and out and enjoy it. And even if it's raining, it kind of helps protect it from the rain and whatnot. So we were really happy the way that this uh, came out. V lovely. And I love the pop of red. The it red just kind of like wakes you up, right? And you're like, wow, cool. Yeah, it's another way to, you know, the client wanted to just bring something fun. She didn't want to do a pattern because she didn't want to commit because there was a lot going on in the, the basement. So we're like, what if we just brought the red outside and gave it a little bit of a banding? Nice, N nicely done. And so there's a question, are those stationary? No, those are functional. I think you had mentioned that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And so Kim, here is a, a quick sort of clarifying mm -hmm. question or more detail, because you know how we and our details. Yeah. Uh, outdoor hardware, who did you get it from? Who was your resource? This was, this was not recent. This was, okay. I want to so. say 10 years ago. Okay, so all right, but just with, I guess the point is we need to make sure that you don't just use any hardware that you use inside. No, no. We were very, we were very specific to use outdoor hardware. Um, it was stainless steel hardware. We knew, we knew that going in so it wouldn't rust. Now my yep. preferred outdoor hardware, um, I use Helzer Brothers because mm -hmm. of the uh, runs that you can use from bracket yep. to bracket. So, yep. um, cause something like this, we were only, cause again, it's a grommet panel. And with grommets, you can't get that over a bracket. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. how hard you try, there are no C grommets. <laughs> so um, this one, we had to find a rod that could, there's a couple things that could hold the weight, mm -hmm. that wouldn't bow, mm -hmm. and that we could only use three brackets on the bigger center expanse. Mm -hmm. So um, this particular rod did the trick. But Helzer Brothers, I feel like you have a little bit more options in terms of finishes, because yeah. you could only do, this was just stainless steel. So yeah. that was our only option, you know, 10 years ago, but, um, nicely yeah. done and grommets, outdoor grommets. Yes. We did outdoor stainless steel grommets, outdoor threading, um, mm -hmm. because that's all important as well, because that there is a difference when you're doing, uh, panels, you can't just use any old thread either. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I just, um, remembered something. Um, I have here a, a copy of a vision magazine actually mm -hmm. and this issue which was i think like a may june issue it's all about outdoor window treatments and there is an article here um if i can find it real quickly but it it, it talks oh actually look what i just found look does this look familiar <laughs> and, and I don't know if there was a question about those panels. Are those panels, were those panels stationary in your 
Oh, Designed. mine. Yeah. My, mine were stationary. Okay. Yes. So it, yes. mine are not, and then Vita's are mine are, are operable, and Vita's are stationary. Thank you. That's a really good clarification. Yeah. I assumed it was about yours, but it could have yeah. been about my previous picture. So there's an article here by Catherine Dillon, um, who is a wonderful workroom and, and a colleague in the industry. And she did an article on threads and cording and foam to be used for outdoor projects. And the reason I remembered it's because you said you use outdoor thread. And sometimes it's common sense to use outdoor fabric and it may even be common sense to use outdoor hardware, but you also have to remember that you need to use outdoor thread because mm -hmm. otherwise it will have a much higher propensity to kind of fall apart and disintegrate. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, the, here's a great issue on all outdoor projects. Yeah. And, and so, um, you can subscribe to the Visions magazine. It's, it's free, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So, and they yeah. have a digital version and a yeah. print version. So yeah, and it, there's a lot of window treatment knowledge that gets dropped in uh, the issues. So yeah. I would get your copy. <laughs> Okay, and uh, here I'm finishing up with just a very simple project. I wanted to stick it in there. Sometimes I feel like um, we maybe even feel compelled or maybe we're naturally drawn to more complicated projects to show you guys. Again, because one of our missions here is to show you what's possible. And, uh, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Both Kim and I do mm -hmm. simple blinds or simple shades or simple pillows and simple cushions. And this was this very project exactly. This was done on the main line, which is a suburb, western suburb of Philadelphia for an interior designer called, his name is Gary Ruff. And actually we mm -hmm. have a comment here, great advice, especially in Florida mm -hmm. where it's hot and humid. Really. Yep, and Gary is actually, he was based in Philly, moved to Philadelphia, based in philly moved to florida <laughs> but flies up here to philly to work still work on on his clients so this is one of those relationships and uh his client just wanted an upgrade on pillows he wanted an out she wanted rather an upgrade on some cushions and again we were happy to oblige kind of easy peasy we took what she had we stripped it off of the old fabric we created new casings the foam was fine Ba -ba boom ba -ba bang done you know e easy peasy project so i guess my point here whether it's simple or complicated or anything in between it's all possible and of course kim and i are happy to help you or whoever your custom window treatment provider is mm -hmm. they should be able to help you with all of these things as well yeah and it's just a true testament how a simple pop of color mm -hmm. can go a long way it's mm -hmm. just that simple what is that a peachy pink or red or yep, it's yeah. like a red mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, which is funny your picture had red and now mine as well <laughs> and I, I never thought of red as like a go-to outdoor color but here we are in our six projects two of them feature red <laughs> <laughs> yeah all righty all righty everyone well that concludes um episode number 58 outdoor spaces but before we let you go there's a couple of things that we want to showcase uh first being that if you are new to the window treatment game and uh want to know just kind of window treatment 101 luann wrote an ebook a couple years ago um architectural digest isn't coming 10 things you need to know about custom window treatments uh to get your copy head on over to the window works website and uh, uh, give us your email and you can get an instant download. Awesome. And also for my part as well, I have a free gift for you guys. We cannot let you go without giving you a little bit of a, of, of a, a freebie from us. And mine is a free curated lookbook filled with inspiration, education, excerpts from some of the presentations that I've done for national and local organizations, window treatment associations. So if you don't have your copy, please head on over to vitaliainc.com and grab yours um, today. And to keep up with all things Luann Iger, because she has a lot going on right now. I know we are in our second phase of Luann U that's going on right now. So, um, Congratulations to everyone who is partaking in that. Um, and to listen to the audio version, like Vita had mentioned before, this whole uh, Window Treatment Friday live stemmed from their audio version that they do on the podcast. Uh, so if you want to listen to all previous episodes, they are great. There's a lot of information, especially the last episode that you talked about coping with uh, 
you know, getting through these currently times and COVID mm -hmm. times right now, um, the, the COVID aftermath, so to speak, yep. Yep. <laughs> if you will, in our industry that we're kind of dealing mm -hmm. with. So head mm -hmm. on over to Luann's website, luannigard.com. And if you hit the podcast tab and on the right hand side, there's a little search bar. If you type in WTF, all of their episodes will pop up for you. <laughs> and that's it for our episode. So I just wanted to tell you guys, if you are in the Philadelphia area and you're looking for support with your window treatments or outdoor projects, I am happy to provide that support for you. Vitalia Inc. is a one-stop shop. We are a comprehensive go-to resource. We are a white glove concierge level service exclusively for interior designers who are ready to fly first class in the world of window treatments. So please DM, PM, call or email. We're here and happy to support you. And if you are in the New Jersey or New York area, we would be happy to help you with your next window treatment or awning slash exterior projects. Um, no project is too big or too small. We will help you with one wood blind down to a retractable roof for your uh, restaurant. Um, we, Our team here would be happy to help and assist you on all your uh, window covering needs. And thank you for your lovely comment. Love Philadelphia, especially the open air market yeah. and your art museum are amazing. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's so great to see Philadelphia open up again. I was actually in Philly, a very surgical trip in and out just to go to the design center because I needed some fabrics that we don't have in our library here in our studio. But it's it's really great to see the restaurants opening up, people walking around more, museums opening up. So it's just hopefully 2020 and the beginning of 2021 are behind us and uh, we are back together again. Yes. Yeah, same thing here in New York. New York is definitely, New York is back. Booming, <laughs> bustling, yeah. bustling and hustling and bustling. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today and every Friday. Kim and I are here to educate you, to inspire you, to show you what's possible in the world of window treatments and related projects. So please join us here every Friday at 12 noon, Instagram, Facebook, because Kim, if it's Friday. It's Window Treatment Friday Live. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. Have bye a bye. Great Have a great weekend. Week.